Uh, hello again. On the previous tutorial, we modeled this raised panel door. Uh, here you can import your high resolution map into the material editor. Create a material with the wood of your choice and add the wood map to the diffuse channel. If you look at the source image here, you will notice that the door is made out of uh, five parts. The sides go up and down and the top and bottom go horizontally. And the panel goes up and down too. If you make if you made this door, select the center panel with a polygon selection tool and click on grow a few times. You only need this area. After you have the selection, detach the polygons to isolate the panel from the rest. You may give them uh, unique names. Do the same for the other pieces. You can select the side panels this way. Again, use Detach to create the individual pieces. I will call these verticals. Well, that leaves us with the top and bottom already detached. Here are the individual parts. The sides and the center panel. On the material editor, make one material for each of the uh, three pieces. You can edit or crop the areas you want to use from a high resolution image like I have here. Let's start with the center panel. Select map and click on view. Here you can crop the image and select the, uh, the area that looks best for, for the center panel. I will select this area because it shows a very nice uh, wood uh, grain and you know make sure it's kind of proportional. And then apply. Click on apply so the changes are made. Now you can apply the map to the panel. Also add a UVW modifier and uh, you can keep it planar. You can continue applying the maps to the other parts the same way. For the sides I think this area looks nice. You may have to adjust a little bit on the UVW map uh, parameters if the uh, texture or the map doesn't look right. In this case, you can use the box type. This area looks good for the uh, top and bottom pieces. For these pieces, we will uh, turn the image 90 degrees. The map here looks a little bit wide, so we can change the size here.
And that's all. Here we have a finished render with some lights. I hope you liked the tutorial and thanks for watching.